So, welcome to the class, to the urban geography class. Today we will discuss about urban density. It seems a very simple concept, but it is not so simple. What we are going to discuss? Urban density. What is urban density? What is urban density? Can anyone tell me? What is urban density? Yes. What is urban density? Yes. What it is? How, how we can define it? Simply it seems Yes, uh, how we can compute it? How we can compute it? How we can calculate it? Yes, yes, exactly. Urban, it's I have to do with urban planning and urban de uh, design, yes. Sim uh, it seems simply that you uh, divide the land area by people and you will get the urban density. But it is not so simple. There are various aspects to it. First, we will take floor area ratio. Floor area ratio. Yes. Yes. That is that is that is the simplest concept. We are talking about various aspects of urban density. There are various aspects of urban density. First, it is floor area ratio. You know about it? Floor area ratio. We divide floor area, a covered area, as builders call it, by people. It's the ratio of floor area to the people. You divide floor area of building divided by land area of the building, with the buildings are built. It's, it is the floor area. It's the ratio of floor area or covered area to the land area. Then the uh, residential density. Numbers of houses, residential density. Do you hear me? Residential density. Yes. The number of dwelling units in any given number of houses in any given area. Yes. That is residential density. The number of dwelling units in any given area. How many dwelling units are there in any given area? In any uh, in a square kilometer or in hectare? That is called the residential density. How many houses are there in any given area? Then uh, th uh, there is cross density. It is the cross density of the people in any given area. There is a weighted density. In weighted density, it's a density matrix which measures the density at which the average citizen lives. It is determined by calculating the standard density of each census area, census tract, and assigning each a weight equal to its share of the total population, and then adding the segment. Uh, it's the measure of the area where every every citizen lives. Any citizen area where average average citizen lives. The average citizen acquires the area. What area average citizen acquires? That is the 
then we calculate uh, there, there are other aspects to the urban density we calculate the parking area we calculate the parking area per unit area how much parking space is available for our vehicle our car that is parking density and uh do you hear me do you hear me third point uh, which point uh, we were about talking about residential density yes residential density is the density in which we calculate how many houses are there in any given area how many houses suppose it is a unit area we calculate we count how many houses are there suppose there are 100 houses then the 100 is the residential density of the area how many houses are there houses means how many dwelling units are there if you are living in an apartment then how many flats are there if you are living in a colony how many houses are there feet per household we calculate and that is the residential density that is very important how many houses are there uh, we uh, repeat floor area ratio what is floor area ratio floor area ratio is how much per area how much covered area is there how much floor area is there you know floor area of, a, of an apartment it is called carpet area or covered area yes then there is uh, simply population density which you were telling me in the, in the beginning that how many people are there in the uh, per unit area then there is um, we have talked about floor area then there uh, we are talking about um, how many houses are there then we are talking about how may, uh, how much parking space is there per unit area yes so uh, we, now we can talk about um, land uses and building orientation what is building orientation can anyone tell me what is building orientation what is building orientation Yes. What is building orientation? What is building orientation? Yes. Yeah. How the building is located? Where it is? Where its access is? Where its orientation is? from where you enter into the building that is building orientation uh, uh, is it on the sunny side is it on the uh, river uh, uh, sea view side that is building orientation then uh, we can talk about uh, employment density that is very important employment density what is employment density what is impl 